guys good morning and welcome back to another vlog my hair looks so crazy right now guys i'm currently on my way to my appointment and i am running kind of late my appointment is 10 o'clock it's 9 45 i'm probably about like 20 minutes away from the salon so i should be good i decided to stop and get us some something to drink i got myself some coffee and then i also got a green tea latte and i have a bottle of water with me and then i just picked her up like some peach um green tea but Yes, I'm currently on my way to uh, get my hair done. I don't know what look I'm going for just yet. It is so many police cars out here. I don't even want to speed. Like, I know I'm late, but I should probably just chill. But anyways, um, I got some coffee today. Uh, I got an iced Dopio Espresso decaf with light 2% milk in a grande cup, extra ice, vanilla, sweet cold foam, and three pumps of white mocha. I have been on my decaf lately like i don't know what it is about caffeinated coffee but it, it just doesn't sit well with me so i've been getting it decaffeinated and i know like de decaf coffee is like the bottom of the barrel coffee but i just genuinely like the taste of coffee i don't want to feel like i'm jittery all day so that's why i've been getting it decaf but if you guys are into caffeine then you should definitely try this drink from starbucks because it literally is so bomb and i definitely love the vanilla sweet cold foam it's just i can't have it all the time because i am trying to be on a diet and just trying to do better and um i haven't had starbucks in so long if you guys are an og subscriber then you'll know like i literally did not go a day without starbucks and it's literally not good for you so i just really have to like cut back and hopefully cut out it's really hard but i haven't went cold turkey just yet i've been trying to do like maybe like once a week twice a week no more than three times a week because it was a point in time where, you, where I was doing seven days a week. But anyways, I am going to get my hair done today. It's probably going to take, I'm thinking maybe four to five hours. And I say that because I have to get like all of this touched up. I haven't decided if I was going to go all the way to the root just yet because if you have blonde hair that you know, like dyeing your hair to the roots, it can be painful. It takes a long time. It's high maintenance. And I've done it probably for the last like four months, I should say. And I love it, don't get me wrong. Like that's why I always do it, because I genuinely love it, but I don't know if I'm over it just yet. So I'm still trying to like contemplate. I'm sure when I get there, Lily's gonna let me know what we're gonna do, because that's typically what she does anyway. I just tell her what I like, and then she's like, okay, well, we're gonna do this. And I end up liking it, so I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but yes, I am currently on my way to the hair salon, so I will see you guys when I get there. Dimension or whole thing? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, um, if we do dimension, then I really want to get it to like as high, like you know, still to the root. I don't want to like leave out any black. I do want a little trim though. Can you trim me up a little bit? Yeah. So, let's see. This is like a perfect amount for a touch up. Okay.
I don't know whether or not I showed you guys in my last vlog what my dresser looks like, but this is how it looks. I will link it down below for you guys. I got it from Wayfair. It's just a white dresser with gold handles, and I love how much storage it has. I wanted to try to maximize as much storage as I can in a dresser because I have a lot of like workout clothes and pajamas and stuff like that. So I needed a dresser that was big enough and had a lot of um, little drawers that I can put all of my clothes in, and this is literally perfect. I also haven't decided how I'm gonna go about decorating this just yet i kind of just like played around a little bit by putting all of this stuff right here this is just stuff that i haven't unboxed yet i will unbox for a video this is some new sephora goodies i'll show you guys in a bit i ended up going back to sephora to pick up a lot more items and then i did show you guys in the last vlog i picked up something from joe malone and moving right along this is literally my favorite piece on my dresser right now i don't know if it's gonna live here just yet but for now i just genuinely love the look of it and this video is in partnership with rose forever new york they were kind enough to send me a bouquet of my choice and i went with the black velvet and the white flowers i just think it looks so good on my dresser and it matches my decor so perfectly i just wanted to take a minute to just tell you guys about this brand rose forever is new york based and it specializes in designing luxurious flower bouquets just like this one these flowers last for a year they smell so good because they're made with natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted a piece like this is very stylish it's very chic and it's perfect for decor I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to leave it on my dresser or on my nightstand and it's so versatile that I can do it either or and I can even also put it in the kitchen or the living room if I wanted to but this piece is just beautiful they were kind enough to give you guys a discount code as well if you guys use the code Julie 15 you will get $15 off any bouquet of your choice I will leave a link down below for you guys just to make it easier but honestly like look how pretty it looks and it's just like a really really nice piece I like to use it as like having something in the background for my nails for pictures and whenever I take pictures I always just try to like get a little glimpse of it or I try to get a little piece of it because it genuinely just looks really really good for anything for a nail picture like look how good my nails look and I realized I didn't even show you guys how my nails look but this is how they look and you see it just complements anything so well like I love having this next to anything that I'm taking a picture of because it just looks so aesthetic like look how it looks just sitting next to this Joe Malone bag like I don't know I don't know what it is about it it's just so beautiful to me so like I said I will leave a link down below for you guys to shop for the meantime I just have the arrangement sitting next to all of my perfumes I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about arranging it but I just think it looks so good it looks so chic and feminine and also I did pick up some more new perfume as well this is gentle fluidity and um, if you guys want a perfume video let me know because right now this looks like I have so much perfume which I really do I love 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 smelling good it's just one of those things that I just am obsessed with so let me know if you guys want like a video about all of my smell goods all right guys so as promised let me go ahead and show you guys all the things that I got from Sephora we're gonna start off with this texturizing hairspray this is actually my second time buying this it's by the brand way I like to use this whenever I curl my hair and it just gives it like a lot of texture and I like I showed you guys in the last video I bought a crimper so I just feel like crimps look really good with a little bit of texture sometimes whenever I wash my hair it's really really flat and it doesn't have a lot of volume so I bought this just for some texture I, how many times did I say texture the next thing is this perfume by the brand clean reserve i bought this based off of the recommendation of the another youtuber her name is brianna monique she swears by this she thinks it smells so so good i smelled it in the store and it really does smell good and like i showed you guys earlier i do have a fragrance collection and i have a bad habit of buying a lot of smell goods so when anything smells good i just really like to have it in my collection this is the scent skin i believe yeah so this is how the packaging looks like i love a nice simple packaging and it is a big bottle so this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and that's how it looks i really appreciate the minimal design I don't have a scent like this in my collection surprisingly so it says the family is a floral musk and I can definitely smell that I feel like it's just so I don't know like I smell flowers I smell musk 
but I also smell like you know that Hall like back in the day when you used to wear Hollister and Abercrombie perfumes and stuff like that I feel like I can smell that as well and it does smell really really clean so this is how it looks I also have the other perfume let me go ahead and bring it down here I didn't open this one just yet because I wanted to show you guys in the vlog as well I did not get this from Sephora this is a more high-end perfume I purchased this from I think Neiman's I did get this based off of another youtuber um, Aaliyah's face she actually purchased the gold version I went to the store and I was going to buy the gold version but something about the silver version just um, smells so much better to me this is by the brand Mason Francis something Paris um, if you guys are familiar with uh, Baccarat this is the same brand and this is gentle fluidity in silver this is how the bottle looks. It's definitely a little on the pricier side, but it does smell really, really good. It smells different from my other ones. I have Baccarat and I have the Rose scent, and this one just smells super, super clean compared to the other two. The Rose one smells a little bit more girly and feminine, whereas this one smells more of a like a an everyday scent. And for it to be, this bottle was only 2.4 fluid ounces, and it is a little bit pricier, but you know, it does last a long, 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 long time. I'm probably going to end up going back to purchase the gold one, but as far as like the gold and the silver, which one I like better, me personally, I like a clean scent. So this one definitely won me over. Continuing on with the Sephora sale, um, I am a VIB member, so I got a couple samples of these little mini like perfumes. This one is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This one is Dolce & Gabbana Garden. I don't know why it's not focusing. Let me go ahead and open it for you guys as well. I have the full version of the Dolce & Gabbana Garden, but this is literally like the cutest, smallest, like bottle and it looks just like the big bottle. Appreciate how it looks just like the full size version. I think that's so 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 cute. This will be perfect to travel with and then I don't have the full version of the light blue but the light blue bottle is also super cute as well. If you guys have ever smelled this let me know how you guys like it. I have never smelled this before. It was just one of those things that was available um, to sample. I don't feel like opening it right now but Moving on to a couple of more things. This is the Kaja lip gloss in the color Milk Tea. And it's so relevant because I personally love Milk Tea. If you know, you know. But I also got this based off of the recommendation of Brianna again. The color is so, so pretty. And I also had a really hard time trying to find this lip gloss. I went to like four different Sephora's and I was finally able to find one in um, Perimeter actually. And they didn't have one in stock. I had to go back like the next two days when they finally had like their shipment in to purchase it but this is the gloss shot and it's just a really 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 pretty color if you know me you know i don't like lip lipsticks at all i'm more of a gloss girl so that's how it looks it's really really pretty and then i have a couple of more samples this is just um a mascara by Ilia, which I don't really use mascara because I do wear lash extensions and then and this is a Moroccan body oil it says it's a dry body oil which I will probably use this summer for the pool and then I also picked up some Brazilian bum bum cream by the brand Sol de Janeiro Chanel <laughs> she's playing with her toys if you guys hear her I'm just gonna let her be but um, this cream is supposed to help with like cellulite and stuff like that they say it smells really good i've never smelled it before but this is like the um i want to say it's the travel size or the mini size because i did get this from the aisle like before you check out that aisle always gets me i'm a sucker for things that are like small and cute like this oh and it does smell good it smells like uh papaya coconut smells very moisturizing and i have just two more items i splurged on skincare just a little bit i bought the dior dream skin one minute mask what sold me is this is a one minute mask i have never seen a mask that is only like one minute that just has so many benefits this mask claims to be a new skin effect from the first application with even more comfort the youth mask with a skin perfecting peeling effect in a new gentle beneficial formula for skin that appears renewed in one minute and this was pretty pricey like i said i decided to splurge on this only because like one minute for a mask like you have me sold and this is how 
it looks very basic but very cute very minimalistic and it does smell good as well this does smell expensive so you're supposed to just massage this onto your skin leave it for 60 seconds and rinse it off with water upon contact with the skin it's fresh and rosy gel texture turns into a luscious white cream offering a dramatic skin transformation its peeling action exfoliates the skin and erases imperfections while offering a more intense feeling of comfort thanks to the addition of softening jojoba oil pores appear tightened the skin texture looks smoother and the complexion seems brightened i'm pretty excited to try this you're supposed to use it two to three times a week before your usual skincare routine and like i said one minute you guys one minute if you're lazy like me a one minute mask definitely will change your life and the last item finally is uh, some setting spray i bought this one by iconic london it's a prep set and glow spray in the original color i saw another youtuber buy this so pretty much all of the stuff that i bought from this haul are just based off of other people's recommendations i really take recommendations seriously so whenever somebody tells me like you need to buy something you need this in your life i'm the type to say okay yeah i do like you have you have me convinced so this is how the bottle looks i think it's just so 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 pretty and i love to look really glowy and dewy and um yeah this has a little bit of shimmer in it i don't know if you guys can tell but it does have a little bit of glitters in it which i don't mind i like to look very very dewy i like to look shiny and sweaty i love to look luminous and glowy so yeah i'm pretty excited to try this as well so now that i have all of my perfumes displayed i am kind of trying to play tetris a little bit and see if i can fit another perfume i could probably squeeze one more right there but yes this is one of my obsessions is having a lot of perfumes it just looks really good and nice on this tray the tray is from Target. I will try my best to find it and link it down below. But this tray is honestly so pretty. It's definitely something that I was looking for as far as like having my perfumes in. It's just basic and it has like the little marble detailing and it's very very subtle which i appreciate so while we're doing hauls let me just go ahead and open this i've had all this stuff just sitting on my dresser i wanted to unbox everything for you guys on camera because you know i just i just love doing that i just love doing hauls and showing you guys what i purchased this is an item from joe malone you do have the option to get it nicely wrapped like this i think if you tell them that it's a gift or for somebody else then you can get it wrapped like this he asked me if it was for a gift i said no it's for home but you know like if you don't mind wrapping it very nice then my vlog family will appreciate it but um yeah this is how it looks it is a candle and it is in the scent nectarine blossom and honey it's a bougie perfume candle it looks so pretty very minimalistic i want to say this was like 70 dollars for a candle it is expensive but i knew i had to have this because i also have the perfume which smells so good and i'm really obsessed with the scent the only other scent that i really love is the wild bluebell and the uh peony one which i don't have as the perfume yet but yes i love the scent so much that i had to go pick one up they're completely sold out in the Saks store in atlanta so i went to the nordstrom one and purchased this i haven't opened it since my last vlog but what i plan on doing is having this sit somewhere either on my dresser or on my nightstand and i wanted to get one of those like covers that kind of like sits over it. It's like a glass piece that you just put over a candle. And I think it just looks so, so pretty. Yeah, this is just how it looks. And like I said, you guys earlier about the flowers. So even like something like this sitting next to the flowers, it just complements it so well. I don't know if it's like the label or the coloring. Like it just looks so good together. So like even me unboxing this, it's so aesthetically pleasing just seeing that the flowers are sitting here. And it just makes everything just look so feminine and girly and pretty. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that about the flowers as well, but this is the candle.
after so long you guys guess what finally arrived I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them and put it together So this is how the bar stools turned out. I ended up getting four of them and I really like how they turned out. The only thing about these like gold bar stools was it did take a while for me to kind of like grow on them only because like my OCD wouldn't allow me to do gold bar stools and have like everything else silver. I don't know, it's really weird, but it's actually really growing on me. I just felt like, you know, if you have too much silver, it would clash and after a lot of thinking and contemplating and convincing I did finally go with the gold and I really like how it is white leather I'm just scared that it's gonna get dirty but other than that I really like how they turned out I will link them down below for you guys but they work they came already built like this I didn't have to put anything together all I had to do was just take apart all the tissue that was wrapped in and every one of them came perfectly none of them have any scratches so that's a plus as well it didn't take as long as i anticipated it for it to come but um it took longer than the delivery date but other than that it's not that big of a deal i went ahead and put all the boxes right here because i have to take them downstairs and then all the trash right there an hour what are you looking at and then i took chanel out 
let me show you guys she wants to say hey but it was such a beautiful day today it's supposed to be rainy today but while it was sunny i did take her out for a little walk she is getting very much um replica right now because her haircut is tomorrow so she does look a little crazy but say hi guys i don't want you on my kitchen counter baby all right but um yes i went downstairs i took chanel out and i have a couple of packages nothing too crazy um this is a filter for my dyson i have a dyson air purifier and um what that pretty much does is it purifies the air having a dog and living in an apartment and getting my filters changed not as often as i would like to maybe when i get a house i i probably won't but i would like to get my filters changed every month just so the air can be nice and pure but um i like to have my dyson because it really does help with like allergies and stuff like that as far as having chanel goes so this is just a um filter for my dyson and this is from Amazon, as you guys can probably already tell. You guys, I'm so tired and out of breath from the gym. But one thing about it for sure is you might not want to go to the gym, but you don't regret a good gym session. And lately, I've just been living in these matching sets. They're from Aloe Yoga. The top is actually a hand-me-down from my sister. Um, I love her hand-me-downs. They are literally the best hand-me-downs. So she always gives me um, her old clothes, but I want to say this is from Forever 21. But these leggings are, I think, last season Aloe Yoga. The color is like a, a Coca-Cola, like plum purple brownish color. But honestly, like whenever I wear a matching set, it just makes me more motivated to go to the gym and to work a little harder i don't know what it is i don't know like when you're dressed nice you just feel good so i've um kind of made it a point in my life to kind of like go to the gym a lot more often and actually get dressed versus like looking crazy going to the gym even though when i come back i'm gonna look crazy like i'm really really sweaty right now but i feel good and i have um a couple more things to do for the rest of the day but um i've been editing all morning so by the time you guys see this vlog i probably have edited this within like six hours because it's going on it's two o'clock right now um i've been up since like seven o'clock kind of a busy day after i upload this vlog i kind of just want to chill for the rest of the day even though i really have to look clean um just tidy up the house a little bit and mop and stuff but i've been trying to organize a lot more i don't know if i mentioned that in my last video but i have to knock out my pantry i have not knocked that out yet but i have to organize my closet there's so much like shoes all over the place i have boxes everywhere and i just kind of want to like organize um those a little bit more because when i walk in it's literally a nightmare so i purchased these little like shoe organizers from amazon they were pretty inexpensive i'm sure you can get these from the container store i bought 12 of them for i want to say 50 dollars it's i think it's cheaper than the container store the container store is a little bit um expensive and i just didn't want to spend that much money on some shoe organizers so this is how they're supposed to look and it's all clear which i appreciate and it does have some instructions in the back i will link this down below for you guys as always so step one says fold the case along the fold line and then step two says fold the sides of the case to a 90 degrees fold the bottom with holes to 90 degrees Fold the tabs inward, so I'm assuming that this is supposed to go like that. That's crazy, I'm supposed to do this 12 times.
tedious you guys three of these took me literally like 15 minutes and now I have like nine more to go and I'm contemplating on whether or not I'm just gonna say um, F it or if I'm gonna continue but this is how they look if you're curious And also, I had to go back and get a top coat on my nails. I love how these designs, you can either do matte or clear, like shiny. I had it matte before, but it was just getting so dirty with all the stuff that I was doing. I was opening packages a lot, and I was putting furniture together. So I just had to go back and get a top coat, and it's still very, very cute. I finally built all of them. The paper instructions did not give very clear instructions. So I looked on the paper and it did have a QR code to where you can look at the video and see um, like exactly how to put it together. I am contemplating still whether or not I'm going to end up having to replace these because they are flimsy. I mean, you do get what you pay for. They are a lot cheaper than the ones at the container store. I like the container store one because they're all made of this material versus this is very, very flimsy I don't know how long this will last and it did take so long to put together the instructions are very very tedious and I'm very impatient but we are here <laughs> we got it done I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of my shoes in here and um, just see how it works out for me I just got out of the shower I did some skincare I spent a little bit of time on my skin today and it was just one of those days where I just kind of wanted to relax a little bit so I have the TV going right now I was going to watch some Netflix but Netflix literally puts me to sleep so I just put on some Kard Kardashians I wanted to catch up on these last couple of episodes that I haven't watched yet and I'm just snacking on these dark chocolate covered pretzels you guys they are literally so 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 good and i'm also editing a video and i realized that i have not closed out one of my vlogs in so so long so i wanted to do so in this one as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already go ahead and press that subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye